Families and community members gathering in Orlando today to pay tribute to the victims of the Pulse nightclub massacre. It happened one year ago today. Now we hear from survivors and families of the victims. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard is the only local reporter in Orlando for today's anniversary. Ryan is joining us live from outside the Pulse nightclub, where the memorials continue throughout the day. Ryan? Bill, there will have been three different memorials throughout the day. One story very early this morning at some 2 o'clock in the morning. People are still coming, even as it starts to thunder and lightning, even rain. Uh, people are still coming here. They are not deterred. They say they want to remember. This day, tears easier to find than answers. Families of the victims and people from around the world gathered to remember the Pulse nightclub. 49 people died. More than 50 were seriously injured. I came out, I, I feel like I needed to, and, and, and it's still hard for me. Jeff Xavier endured several surgeries after he was shot in the neck, stomach, and legs. He returned to Pulse this day. He says he and fellow survivors talked early this morning at the very moment of the attacks one year ago. I'm being strong as I can and being strong with my you know, fellow survivors. Uh, I gotta be here for them and some don't wanna come or can't come. And you know, I wanna show my support in their honor as well because I know some of them just can't, just they still, it's still too much and it's very fresh for all of us. Really, if you come here day or night, people are always gathering at the Pulse nightclub, but really nothing like this. You can see uh, there is a big crowd out front. They've actually blocked off this entire lane of traffic. Some people still trying to get through as these memorials continue. You know, this has changed our community forever, and the impact of Pulse uh, is definitely very, very deeply felt every single day. And you can really feel that as you stand here uh, by this wall. It's basically a fence that has been covered up by this mural. People come here. Uh, you can see over here they ride on it. At the foot of it, they have been laying flowers for the last year now, a lot in the last 24 hours. Uh, just beyond that, I noticed yesterday these buckets were basically empty. Now all of those buckets are full. Beyond that, you can see that there are candles that they have lit in memory of the victims. At 5 o'clock today, we're going to take a look at some of the smallest gestures that children are doing, really, that are making a difference. We're live in Orlando. Florida tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.